Oof. What to expect in PT school? Man, maybe you're a student right now who's just totally fascinated by the world of physical therapy, or maybe you're a student who is ready for PT school. In this video, you're gonna gain a ton of knowledge on what to expect in physical therapy school, starting from day one all the way until graduation. So throughout this video, if you find any kind of value or if you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that, I would really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up or any kind of feedback and comment below in this video. All right, let's get into it. Lego. Okay, first things first. Man, the first day of class is a big deal. Come on, let's just be real, right? Think about it. You as a student have been working for years to finally start schooling that's going to prepare you for the rest of your life. You're going to school for what you are going to do. It's a professional doctorate degree. So your first day, you know it's a cohort, you're going to meet a bunch of people. You get butterflies on your first day. When I went to PT school, I said, I'm going to vlog my entire physical therapy school experience. And that's actually how I got started on YouTube. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'll never forget my first day. I went to class and I was like, it's my first day. I cannot miss the opportunity to do a vlog. So <clears throat> imagine this, you're going into a classroom of students, other doctor students, your first day of PT school come out with my freaking camera and I go okay guys today um, I'm gonna vlog uh, my experience in PT school so I'm just gonna be like going up in the middle of the class in the front I'm like all right you guys so I'm just gonna vlog this you guys are gonna go ah okay all right are you ready here we go three two one hey what's up it's the first day of class welcome to the first day of DPT let's go that's good guys, thank you. <laughs> Got my coffee. I'm so basic. Right, it's raining, but it's the first day of class. Am I excited? Heck yeah. Let's go. <laughs> yes, that was this guy. Alright, I was a guy that took the camera out on the very first day of school and said, hey, let's film something. Hey, hey, but guess what? Look. Live for a change is alive and thriving. 10,000 plus subscribers. Thank you everyone so much for being so obedient and loyal to this channel. <sighs> this is where that started and it's so great to recycle some of that uh, content. So the first day, you're meeting with a lot of friends. It's exciting. You're going through a lot of different emotions. Now check this out. There's a lot of different things that are happening in PT school as just time just evolves, right? But let me give you the general outline. First day, three years, and then you're done with PT school. Halfway, year and a half, the first year and a half usually is all very heavily weighted with educational stuff, like a lot of the doctoral education, anatomy, physiology, neuroanatomy, neuroscience, orthopedics, cardiopalm, pediatrics, you guys get the picture all of that stuff in the first half okay then you take like exams here to show your competency and then the rest of the half is pretty much all clinicals just generalizing most programs fall into this kind of pattern there's some like variances but let's just simplify it so it's kind of like that okay so that's what you would expect in PT school so on this first day, as the days go by, you're starting to figure out who you're blending in with the most. You're meeting with the same 50 students for five days a week, multiple, multiple, five plus hours a day for five days a week. Man, that's the, the last time you did that was in high school. So the first year you're getting to know people and then eventually you kind of start to gravitate towards people that are in your liking, how you study. Sometimes people gravitate towards people that live a healthier lifestyle together, like they go to the gym together. Uh, some people gravitate towards each other because they are just, you know, their characteristics just match, so on and so forth. So you'll find that everyone likes to be with each other and then you'll start to form cliques as the years and, and the uh, months go by. <laughs> Okay, now check this out. Academically, I know you're wondering this. 
What's it like and what should you expect academically, like all the studying and stuff, when you go into PT school? So in the beginning, maybe like the first week, kind of get and you're like, okay, this is kind of a lot of information, but I think I got the hang of this. You're gonna be responsible for probably like some kind of test or exam or a quiz. And you're like, okay, I can study really hard for this. You study hard, study hard, study hard, and then boom. You probably do really well on that first exam in anatomy. Oh my gosh. Um, or biomechanics. Maybe you don't, but hey, it's okay. It's your first one. This is just like, don't worry so much about it. Now, after that first one though, it goes, <laughs> but that's what it feels like. You know, like, um, I don't know if you ever like had a hose and you put it in your mouth and you open it all the way to I remember when I was in my first year starting out, it felt like there was a fire hose and I was just trying to gargle down a bunch of information in PT school. From that point on, like they're gonna ease you into it. Obviously they're not gonna go bam, but then by the time a couple semesters or a couple terms go by, you're gonna start reaching the peak of the amount of work that you're gonna get into. And yeah, like I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. I remember there were many nights and days where I slept really late, woke up really early so that I can study. So um, yeah, that's what I would expect um, as you're going through from the beginning of class to that middle part of everything. Now, once we get to this middle part, we are transitioning from using to uh, um, being heavily, heavily, heavily in workload with classes and it's really heavy subjects that you're pretty much studying all day all night for right and then you get to the middle now the middle is crazy because this is where we take our exiting exams or some kind of exam this is where we have to show competency as students saying hey look we actually have the skills to do these things because guess what the next step is we go out into clinical rotations meaning we are actually like doing the hands-on stuff as physical therapists but student physical therapists right so now you're in this middle part doing these exams, exiting exams, these comps. It's like, oh my gosh, it's so nerve wracking because you are trying to study information that you did a year and a half ago in the very beginning, right? And you have to be responsible of all of that knowledge that we talked about. <laughs> so you're up to that point doing that stuff. You're halfway there, you do your classes, you get in and out. Okay, now you're gonna go out into doing clinical rotations. There are different types of rotations. Some of them are 10 weeks, some of them are 16 weeks, 15 weeks, three weeks, one week, there's so many different kinds. But in general, I believe every program needs at least 30 weeks of clinical rotations, that's embedded. So whether you break that up into three tens, right? Or six fives, whatever, something like that. So anyway, let's just say three tens, for example, just for the simplicity of it. So during that time, during that time, you're gonna do three tens and you're gonna have some breaks in between. And what will likely happen is you'll get introduced to different settings. Probably an outpatient orthopedic clinical setting, right? Then you'll get probably into some kind of inpatient, whether that's in the hospital or a SNF or a convalescent home. And then maybe you'll get some pediatrics, some cardiopalm, maybe some geriatrics, um, or any sports or anything like that, right? Some programs have the luxury of choosing a place that they want to get to, and some programs will choose for the students. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell, and then you're going to have some classes in between, some programs are different but you're gonna have in the beginning all of those classes really really tough and in the second half you're in clinical rotations everybody comes back in the very end and guess what oh graduation don't get me started on that <sighs> graduation graduation comes you're graduating you're graduating with a doctorate of physical therapy degree family is there everyone is so proud of you but wait there's more <laughs> okay it's not over yet because yes you know this is what you expect from PT school but wait there's more you have to pass your license your national physical therapy exam license your NPTE in order to actually start working as a physical therapist oh man that was a lot 
I know in this video we talked a lot about what to expect in PT school and kind of went on in the in the timeline but I try to simplify it as much as I can and could um, there are different types of hybrid programs three-year programs two-year programs but this is just kind of the general outline of what to expect in PT school and yeah I mean if you're thinking about am I gonna get sleep in this first half uh, I mean, I probably average like five, six, seven hours, five, six, six, six hours of sleep every night. So that's just me. But I mean, who knows? Everyone's different. <laughs> ah, every day is a great day to lift weights, lift others, and lift yourself up. Stay lifting. Stay aloha. And God bless. Have a great one, you guys.